Canadian. I got it. You know I'll fly. Who you are. And I know we got more than a few down here in Latin America. Oh, yeah. I know a lot of you up us go to. Tons of trouble to bleach that shit so you don't leave the house looking like some young cholo showing off his beach fuzz. I appreciate female grooming just as much as the next guy. I mean, the worst is when you're going down south and there's just enough stubble down there for you to think that you're eating a cactus. But I want you to know that Perico can still appreciate a lady with a little soft and fuzzy under the nose. Like Frida Kahlo or something. It's a little detail, a signal that, you know, sometimes means the Wapa is just plain hairy. But sometimes it means she's got a little more horsepower in the engine, you know what I mean? Or sometimes both. And it certainly highlights a few possible new meanings to the phrase, mustache ride. Te amo, abuelita. This next jam was my grandma's favorite. You have made your dues, suffered the same hardships, accomplished the same successes as your male co-workers. But because you are a woman, you will always be seen as la trapadora who fucked her way up the ranks of the cartel. This is Didia Flores. And orgullosas, buchonas, leves, you guys trust Bakatari? I trust my wife and you three. That's it. What about your kids? My kids lie to me every fucking chance they get. I always answer. I act like I ain't afraid of nothing. Like I have the biggest huevos in the room. And like nothing and nobody is gonna stop me from getting what I chingada madre want. And I tell those words, yes. And I'm telling you, do the same damn thing. It's the only way a woman can win in our world. And if you live a life like ours, if you don't win, you're fucking dead. So even if being a bad morra doesn't feel true, if you act like it is, enough people will believe it. Good work. The rebels will be damn glad to get their hands on this cargo. Let's head out. We'll tell them where to find the plane later.